more of Are They Smarter Than a Plumber? Presented by Southside Plumbing and Heating. All right, Southside Jake from Southside Plumbing and Heating joins us every single Tuesday at 735. And he tries to stump us with a bunch of trivia questions. Well, he texted us yesterday. I don't know if he's afraid we're going to kick his ass in a trivia game. He said he wants to take things in a different direction today. So you want to interview Doran about the about the pre-draft process that he went through? Well, I mean, leading up to the draft, I feel like it's a very, very uh, good segment. I mean, you know, traditional trivia, I know you're not going to have much input here because you're only the second best uh, player on your t-ball team. Six. So. I was sixth best on Six. my sixth grade uh, team. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to call this like it is, Southside Jake. Doran is a humble guy he doesn't he wouldn't say this he doesn't want to answer all these questions and now you're going to ask him and it's going to be good you're going to do a good job you're going to take my job and you're going to interview doran it's going to make him squirm it's going to make him uncomfortable and i'm just going to sit here and soak it all in so take it away Southside jake yeah i mean i guess this would be a good segment then for you to see but i think there's going to be some good questions that uh, a lot of the listeners want to hear leading up to uh draft day from a player's perspective boys so uh, Dorn, you ready to get started, bud? Let's do it. All right. My first question to you, my friend, is when did it become real to you that you had a shot at being drafted in the NFL? Was there a specific time, like after a big game, during an interview, or did someone tell you that this could really happen? Well, I always thought that I could because I was exposed to it at a young age with my uncle being a head coach in college football. I was always at the game seeing a bunch of players uh you know that were nfl caliber players ray lewis i mean you know warren sapp all those guys play so i always thought that it was a, definitely a possibility but i would say probably after the mm, probably after the third game of my senior year in college i was like okay like i have a real chance of going pretty high in the draft which i ended up not going high in the draft hey you made it a lot of people can't say that so you know um can you explain the process leading up to the draft? Like, do you have a guide through the process, such as a person that tells you, you need to do X, Y, and Z to go higher in the draft for the best possible position? Definitely the the, the agent process, they kind of help you with that. Uh, you know, you go to the senior bowl. I went to the senior bowl. Then I did went to the combine and then the pro day. And then I had a couple interviews. So it was kind of that trajectory. And then you just sit back really and wait. And you wait and see if your name gets called. But the agent kind of takes you through that that process and Make sure you have everything you need, and um, it's really just a, a, a wait it out, and it's kind of a control what you could control, and it's out of your hands at you know in about seventy two hours from now. That's a good that's a good read in for me because my next question was uh, tell me about your agent selection process. How do you find the right one as as a young man like that? Well, I just told Crowley this, this story. is a good story. <laughs> I just told Crowley this story. So, uh, you know, I had agents that I really liked. They were younger, they were new, and they had a couple guys, and they they wanted to be more of my friend than actually you know do the agent duties. And I, I still talk to them. I still you know keep in touch. But um, I ended up going in the seventh round of the NFL draft, and my uh, my evaluation was second round so i was on the board from the second round to the seventh round and i'm like why is this why is this happening but if you fast forward maybe about four weeks before that i was at a club in miami called live and i saw jared audrick who ended up going in the first round of the 2010 draft he played for penn state and he was with his agent at the time his name was peter schaefer and i asked peter schaefer this is after i ran the 4 4 40 uh, you know i was flying up the draft boards i was like hey peter we're um where do you think I'm going to get drafted at? He was like, uh, seventh round free agent. I was like, what? Get out of here. There's no chance of going in the seventh round. I just ran a 4-4. He said, watch this. He texted the GM at the time of the San Francisco 49ers. He said, where do you have Doran Dickerson on your draft board? And the text back was seventh round free agent. And Peter showed wow. me that text. And I went in the seventh round. I fired my agents that day, and I hired Peter Schaefer because he knew what he was talking about. Unbelievable. That That's that's amazing. That's <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to stop you right here, Southside Jake. We got we got one time for one more here. So give us your best fastball here for the last question. Mm, mm. All right, here we go. When the draft started, I'm sure there's a lot of things going through your head. Is there any doubt in your mind that you are not going to be drafted? If oh. you weren't drafted, what was the backup plan? Oh, I, like I, I would a plumber or, you know, go on, <laughs> go on draft. Well, I mean, I, I knew that I was going to be, a, uh, you know, at least a undrafted free agent. And I, I remember being on the phone with 
with uh, John Harbaugh, and he was like, we're going to pay you like you were a draft pick if you don't get drafted. We see you as this position. We see you as an Anquan Bolden, this and that nature. So I knew that I was going to go at least to Baltimore Ravens. Wow. But then literally after I hung up the call, I get drafted in the seventh round by the Houston Texans. But a backup plan after my first year, I got released. I met with EJ Borghetti, who is the SID for the University of Pittsburgh and, you know, my right hand man throughout my career at Pitt. And I said, what can be my next plan B? And he said, I think you need to get in the media, maybe TV, maybe some radio. And that was in 2010, 2011. And here I am. And good stuff. Good stuff. I, like I said, that's a, those are some questions I was always interested in and coming from a, coming from a player that was in your position. Uh, I'm happy to hear that and get it out before draft night. Jake, this was good, man. It was very good. Appreciate the time, buddy. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. We'll talk to you next week. All right, guys. Have a good show, and uh, let's watch the draft and get something good going. That's right. Thanks, Jake. Take care. Southside Jake, Southside Plumbing and Heating. Can I ask one? Yes. Doran, what's it like to be so special? (laughs) When did you know you were going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread? Whenever uh, about, what, a year ago right now, whenever we were the fan morning show. Oh, I knew we were special. Oh, I butter you up. You butter me yep. right back. Yep. Okay, that was all fun. because of you. I didn't know how that was going to go, but you got a couple of really good stories in there, and we love Southside Jake. Okay, 